Hi everyone, Christina here, and I am so happy to be back with you today because I'm gonna be teaching you how to make your own plant-based nut milks right from the comfort of your own home. Nut milks or plant-based milks are all the rage nowadays. So many people have given up dairy products and are now consuming alternatives like almond milk, cashew milk, macadamia nut milk, and so much more. Now here's the thing. I find that I really love to make my own nut milks at home because I know exactly what is going into them. Even when you go to the grocery stores nowadays, there are a ton of alternatives available for us to purchase. However, they have preservatives, they have gums, they have all different types of acids in there and ingredients that you don't need. If there's an ingredient on the label that you can't pronounce, most likely it should not be going into your body. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your own nut milk with just a few simple ingredients, and it will taste so fresh and so good. You can keep it in your refrigerator for up to three, four, five days in a sealed tight container, use it whenever you want, and it's just delicious. For those of you who have never tried a fresh nut milk before, one that you've made on your own or one that's just been freshly pressed, you are in for a surprise. It is sweeter and more delicious than any other milk you have ever tasted. I can promise you this. I've shown you how to make your own nut milks before, but I've never shown you how to make your own nut milk using the new J2 Nama Juicer. And so many of you have had questions for me about how to make nut milks in this new juicer, and I'm excited to show you today. Oftentimes, people think that you have to make just one type of nut milk at a time but that's not the case. So today we're gonna to be making a combo milk. We're gonna be making a mac nut, cashew, and almond milk combined. It's gonna be super creamy, super delicious. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna be using the new J2 Nama juicer to make this nut milk. For those of you who haven't heard about this juicer, I just posted a video on my YouTube channel showcasing the new Nama juicer that came out. I even did a comparison with it definitely go and check out the videos that I just posted about this machine because it's insane. Compared to the original Nama, this one has an open lid container where you don't have to chop as many things to put it in. This juicer focuses on batch juicing, saving you prep time, and just saving you time all around. It's less prep, less time, more juice. That's the goal of this juicer and it definitely hits all of those goals. For those of you who haven't had a chance to check out this new machine, definitely click on the links in the description below. I've added information there for you and my previous video links where you can check this juicer out and see how it works. And for those of you who are interested in giving it a try, I'll put a discount code on the screen right here where you can get 10% off this juicer. I also just wanna say that I did a comparison between the J2 and the original Nama juicer and they're both amazing. They both have their special purposes and intent, and even if you do have an original Nama juicer, you can still use that to make nut milk. You don't have to like go and get a new juicer if you don't want to. This is specifically for people who want to batch juice, do less prep, or save more time. Um, so I just wanted to say that. Also, for those of you who want to make your nut milk in a Vitamix, you can do that too. You'll simply blend the ingredients and strain them in a nut milk bag or with a strainer. So first thing is first, you have to soak or prep your nuts and your seeds. You have to activate them. So overnight, I let soak approximately two cups of raw almonds, two cups of raw cashews, and almost two cups of macadamia nuts because I ran out, and I soaked them in just enough water for them to soak and activate. It releases the enzymes. It makes digestion easier for you. If you're eating raw nuts or seeds, you should always soak them for at least four to eight hours to make sure that they are activated. Trust me, it helps so much. And the formula that I like to use when making nut milks is for every two cups of nuts, I will use four to five cups of fresh coconut water. Now that's my secret. Most people use just regular water when making nut milks, but I think it makes it turn out kind of bland. So I like to use fresh coconut water or the freshest coconut water that you can find in the store. It adds this beautiful sweetness to it. And after you're done making your nut milk, if you ever wanna blend it up with some dates or some cacao or cinnamon or something like that in your blender, 
Then you have a really nice horchata, you have a little chocolate milk, you've got some, you know, you've got some chocolate milk, you've got some delicious drink to have and to enjoy. And so I love adding coconut water to the mix instead. You can of course use regular water, but coconut water is where it's at for me. Since I've already soaked, rinsed, and strained these and added just a little bit of extra water in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in approximately two more cups of water to each one of these or double the amount of water that each one of these would need. I have found that everyone likes their milk to be a different type of thickness. So the secret here is, is you can control that. For those of you who like really thin milk and you just want like a very light, almost watery type of consistency, use more water. And for those of you who like a really thick and creamy milk, use less water. So start with your two cups of nuts per four cups of water and that'll give you like, for me that's the perfect mix, but if you want it to be creamier, maybe tone it down just a tad so you'll have like two cups of nuts for three cups of water. Um, you do need a little bit more liquid to help run it through the juicer just to make sure that it's you know, doing its thing. And I just want to reemphasize this, whether you're using the new J2 or the original Nama Juicer or your Vitamix, this applies to all different machines, that formula across the board of, you know, two cups of nuts per four cups of water can be used in any case scenario, no matter what machine you're using. So we're gonna go ahead and begin. I'm gonna be using a ladle or a really big spoon to scoop out the nuts with the water and pour them through the top hole. I'm not gonna keep this open and do it because the machine has an automatic turn off, so I'm gonna make sure that that's closed. I am gonna remove this little handle from the top and I'm just gonna focus on spooning out the nuts with the coconut water and pouring them through the top and then you'll see what happens from there. So you'll see that I've just turned on the Nama Juicer. It's really quiet. You can turn on some music, you can jam in your kitchen, and it really doesn't matter the order that you want to put these in and you can mix it up. That's why we're making a mixed juice and you just pour it in just like that. So I'm taking a pause real quick in between juicing the mac nuts and the cashews because I have to show you this. The sign of a good juicer is always being able to see and to identify how dry the pulp is. And are you looking at this? This is pure cashew mac nut butter. This is insane. You would pay $16 a jar, 20 something dollars a jar for something like this. And now you've just made milk, fresh nut milk, plus just gotten your own nut butter out of this. And you can use this to make your own fresh cheeses. You can use this for dips, for spreads. You do not have to throw this away. There are so many ways to use this that's coming out of here right now. Like in my eyes, I'm like, this is a delicacy. <laughs> but for real though, look how dry this is. Look how perfect this is. I don't even wanna touch it. I just wanna save it. It looks insanely good. Not to mention, just from the first glance of making this milk, this milk is creamy, it's thick. I'm already gonna try it. Mm. It's just so fresh. There's literally nothing in here except for nuts and coconut water. How much better can it get? As you can see here, we just made 32 ounces of fresh nut milk juice. And for most of you, that'll be perfect. That'll be enough. You'll make this and you'll go on with your day and it literally will have taken you five minutes to make in this juicer. But for me, I like to batch juice. I like to make multiple jars of juice to save throughout the week. So I'll fill up more than one of these containers, which is what I'm basically doing right now. And I like to simply take the nut milk and strain it through a sieve, just because I really like my nut milks when they're super smooth, just in case, you know, just in case there's some extra pulp in there or something. This for me is more of a texture thing when I'm drinking it. I just like to drink smooth milks. So I'll keep my mixture in a pitcher of choice. Right now I just have my Vitamix container because it's easiest. And I'll continue with my nut milk juicing process until this is full and then I'll add them into my jars. Thank you. 
Mm. So good. I know I have a mustache right now, but let's just pretend I don't. <laughs> Using coconut water instead of regular water really adds that extra nourishment to this water. It adds that extra hydration, those important electrolytes for your body. Ultimately, this is just it's an insane juice and you can use it in so many different ways. Not only can you use it for raw granolas and cereals, which is probably what everybody thinks to use it for, but like I said before, you can blend this into a horchata, into a warm milk, into a, a chocolate milk. You can use it in smoothies. You can drink it just like this. It's hydrating alone, just like this. It's so good for you. And I know I touched before on pulp, but can we talk about how dry this almond pulp is? This looks, it's, it's like an almond stick and it's hard. Can you see how hard these are? These are completely dry. Not one tiny minuscule of an ounce of water is left in these. This is pure, this is, this is dry nuts. This is pure nut butter and not to mention even just the macadamia nut butter, the cashew nut butter is turned into this, this is, this is nut butter. You can see this, it's, this is gold. <laughs> I don't know any other way to say that, but this is gold and you can use this to make your own cheeses, dips and more. Hold on to this. The fact that you see this right now means that this is a fantastic juicer. Dry pulp is where it's at. This is what you wanna be looking for anytime you're making nut milk. So you're not just making the nut milk, but you're also getting the opportunity to make so many more things with the pulp as well. That's what we want, a no waste kitchen. If y'all have liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more yumminess to come. For those of you with questions or requests for future videos, especially regarding the new J2, please leave them in the comments below. For those of you interested in checking out the new J2 Nama juicer, please click on the links in the description below. There's also a special discount code waiting there for you. We've only just scratched the surface of what this machine can do. And last but not least, for those of you who are looking for more juicing recipes, you can download my Fully Raw recipe app. It has more than 450 raw vegan recipes, and many of those are juicing recipes for you to enjoy. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play, and it has iPad optimization. My app is free to download initially, and then once you download it, you get to choose between a monthly or a yearly plan. The yearly plan has access to everything, so I recommend that one. So go ahead, give it a download. The links are below, and enjoy. I wanna thank you all so much again for joining me in my video today. I hope you've had a wonderful time learning how to make your own fresh nut milk. I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love.